in previous video i discuss the colligative property freezing point depression now what is freezing point it is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of liquid and solid phase of that substance becomes same that temperature is known as a freezing point depression now last time here i explained this curve that is vapor pressure temperature diagram or curve for your solvent that is liquid solvent solution and for frozen solvent or solid solvent here from this graphical representation of vapor pressure against temperature curve for pure liquid solvent solution and this curve is for frozen solvent it is clear that here the t not f that is the freezing point of pure solvent it is greater than freezing point of solution in another word when the non volatile solute is added to the solvent it get dissolved to form the solution the first thing that is the first effect is the lowering of vapor pressure and therefore the freezing point of solution is decreased and therefore the property is known as a depression in freezing point now here we see what is the reason why freezing point of solvent is lower by dissolving non volatile solute into it just i told when the non volatile solute is added the first there is a lowering of vapor pressure so the second colligative property elevation in boiling point that was also actually related with the first colligative property vapor pressure lower similarly freezing point depression this colligative property it is also related to the first colligative property that is vapor pressure lowering now at freezing point of a pure liquid the attractive forces among the molecules of liquid pure liquid they are large enough to cause the change of phase from liquid to solid now you know that the meaning of freezing that is the substance in liquid phase changes to solid that is known as a freezing now at freezing point of pure liquid here the attractive forces among the molecules of the pure liquid they are sufficiently large to cause this phase change that is from liquid to solid but when we dissolve non volatile solute in a solvent what happens here the solvent molecules are separated from each other because of solute particles so because of solute molecules the solvent molecules they go apart from each other and this separation of solvent molecule in the solution it is more as compared to separation in the pure solvent and this results into the decrease in attractive forces between the solvent molecules as a result the temperature of the solution is lowered below the freezing point of solvent to cause the phase change that is from liquid to solid therefore the freezing point of solvent is lowered by dissolving non volatile solute into it followed now the next as it is a colligative property it depends on the number of solute particles or amount of solute which is dissolved in the solvent to form the solution that is the concentration of solute now here freezing point depression similar to elevation in boiling point the similar terms are involved in the calculation see you can clearly observe here freezing point depression means it is a difference between the two freezing point that is delta tf okay so delta tf directly proportional to molality of solution if you remember in case of boiling point elevation yes which was the relation instead of delta tf there was a delta tb elevation in boiling point directly proportional to molality as both are the colligative properties remove this proportionality sign so that here it becomes delta tf is equal to kf into m that is 
the constant k instead of k in a previous colligative property there was a kb now this k f is known as freezing point depression constant or it is also known as cryoscopic constant if we put this value of m as a one molar when m is one molar delta t f equal to k f the cryoscopic constant k f or molar depression constant or freezing point depression constant here we can define from this equation now delta t f is equal to k f that is k f can be defined as it is the depression in freezing point produced by one molar solution of non volatile solution so it is similar to kb what is kb that is ebullioscopic constant in case of boiling point elevation definition of kb it was instead of delta tf there it, the term delta tb so kf cryoscopic constant is the here decrease in freezing point or depression in freezing point produced by one molar solution of the non volatile solute that is when one mole of solute is dissolved in 1 kg of solvent at that point the depression in freezing point it is known as a kf that is cryoscopic constant now about the unit of kf what is the unit of kb if you remember the same unit kb is equal to delta tb upon m similar to that here also we'll find here the unit of kf you can find kf equal to delta tf upon m this is the difference between two freezing point it is two temperatures therefore kelvin divided by molality the unit of molality is mole per kg now as it is divided by m means it becomes kg per mole so the unit of kf it becomes kelvin kilogram per mole okay next how this colligative property is used to calculate the molar mass of non volatile solute the method for the determination of molar mass of solute from the freezing point depression this method is the same the steps for calculation are similar to steps for determination of molar mass of solute from the previous colligative property that is elevation in boiling point you can clearly observe here here delta tf equal to kf into m in elevation in boiling point delta tb is equal to kb into m okay now molality m from the definition here m becomes 1000 into w2 upon m2 into w1 so the value of molality m put this value in this equation delta tf equal to kf into m molality therefore m2 that is molar mass of non volatile solute equal to this this is the formula by which the molar mass of non volatile solute can be calculated if all these quantities on the right hand side are given or known kf is the cryoscopic constant w2 is the weight of solute w1 is the weight of solvent delta tf is the depression in freezing point okay now here on screen you can see the applications of freezing point depression see this freezing point depression it is useful for keeping the roads ice free in the winter now this might have seen in the tv in news in winter in cold countries the roads are covered with the layers of ice so to make the roads free from the ice here the freezing point depression this principle is used means what here in cold countries the salt like sodium chloride or calcium chloride it is sprinkled on the road during the winter here you can observe this this calcium chloride or sodium chloride salt is it is sprinkled on the road now by addition of these salts 
there is a depression in freezing point of water so whatever ice which is deposited on this road it get melted and therefore here the freezing point depression this principle it is useful to clear this ice which is deposited on the road second homemade ice cream here the freezing point of cream it is depressed by addition of milk and sugar particles and the freezing point of water it is depressed by salt particle okay again one more common in a, our day to day life adding antifreeze to your car so in automobile the ethylene glycol it is a common antifreezer that is used in automobile now ethylene glycol it is a water soluble non volatile liquid it can be also used as a coolant in automobile radiator okay so these are the applications of the freezing point depression okay now the fourth colligative property that is the osmotic pressure what is mean by osmotic pressure of the solution now as it is a colligative property it depends on the number of solute particles now i will discuss in the next lecture before discussing this four colligative property here the first three colligative properties that is the lowering of vapor pressure again the elevation in boiling point then depression in freezing point so we discuss all these three colligative properties now related to these three colligative properties here you can see one video watch this video so that you can clearly understood these colligative properties